Hi everyone, today's video is a sponsor by Hyger and their stainless steel nano air stone. It is perfect for freshwater aquariums and ponds. This product features a nano hole bubbling, automizing, high dissolving oxygen, three or four stainless steel discs preventing displacement and floating, frost feel elegant appearance, and the cordon material aging resistance good air permeability, sturdy and durable. The Higer Airstone comes in four sizes, 1.7 inches, 2.5 inches, 3.3 inches, and 4.1 inches. The Airstone comes with one Airstone, one air tube, a suction cup, an air volume control valve, a check valve, a T-shaped stunt tube, and a user manual. And now I'm just going to be setting up the airstone. The first thing you want to do is unpackage your airline tubing and connect that to the airstone. You then want to open your package of the check valve along with the T-shaped stunt and the air volume control valve. The check valve is extremely important to make sure there's no backlash of water so your tank doesn't empty out. I'm going to be first trying out this with my 10 gallon. The air stone sinks right to the bottom, which is perfect, which means there will be no floating. The next thing I did was attach the check valve and the connector and I realized that the pump I currently have isn't strong enough for all these so I had to get another pump and I just used the check valve and the air volume control valve which this helps control the amount of flow that comes out of the air stone. I gotta be honest with you guys, Kai, my betta fish, absolutely loved the bubbles. He enjoyed playing in them. And most of all, he was intrigued on how it worked because he thought it was food, which I thought was kind of funny. This is what the flow looks like without the air volume control valve. Now that I have unboxed it, set it up, and put it into my tank, let's review this. It was packed extremely nicely and it gave you a check valve and an air volume control valve with a suction cup which I think those are bonuses as many companies don't usually give those out to you guys because they want you to pay for things separately but I think having all this in one thing makes it so much easier. I like how the bubbles are smaller on this one and I've purchased other ones in the past and the bubbles have been so much bigger and I feel like the smaller the bubbles are the less likely the fish are going to get floated up from the air stone. I even tried this out in my 5 gallon and it's absolutely perfect. If you are having any trouble with the air stone there is a troubleshooting on the manual. This is probably one of the best and one of my favorite fish items that I have gotten. If you are looking into getting an air stone for your fish tank, I recommend the Hyger Air Stone. It is extremely easy to put together and to install. All the links will be in the description along with Hyger social medias. But I want to thank Hyger so much for reaching out to me and asking me to try out this product. I absolutely love it and I think my fish do as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.